Hi guys and welcome to Unity tutorial of a bridge over the stretch of water and a car driving on the bridge. On the bridge we also have the street light or motorway light then we have some boats around and right at the end of this bridge are buildings and so on. But let's run it and you see how it works anyway but in the middle of the road we have some obstacle that you have to avoid if you don't avoid the obstacle this is what will happen so let's start with the program there goes the car there we go you see that that's what happened get smashed okay and unfortunately you see what's just happened to your car all right and look at the other car here coming this way so you have to be careful when you are driving along the road so let's go with the car yeah there we go we're just trying to get up some speed and it's heading towards the city that is way way right after the bridge and there we go guys we're now approaching the city that's way out there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take you guys to unity development environment and we'll put one of these together so let's do that now guys okay guys let's start work with this project but before we go any further you will notice i've, in, I've uh, imported the following from the asset store itself let me show you guys the all of these all sky free that's from uh, the asset store fishing boat standard asset of course you do need that the street props victorian street light and white city you need all of those six different assets now you also need this from uh, devasset.com if you like you can always uh, contribute to dev devasset.com i'm sure they'll be very pleased with that okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna minimize that the first thing i like to do is i'm going to go straight into the standard asset this very one drop that down and let's go straight to the environment right here drop it down and inside the environment i need water i believe is this waterfall inside there you have another project another folder called waterfall click on that then we have a prefab there click on the prefab and in there what i want is waterfall advance drag it drop it right there you see that so the waterfall advances right there so i'm going to scroll down this is the inspector for the waterfall advance let's scroll right down right here okay i'm going to leave the setting the way it is it's setting on my here for the wave you can see the direction of the wave is 2.46 and uh, 2.47 actually the the default setting is always 0. 0. whatever but i'm going to leave it as 2.4 and uh, 2.7 there i'm going to leave it like that so that's taken care of now let's go back up here right up here you see the where we have transform I'm going to change the whole transform in the first place the position I'm going to be the position zero or if you want you can just reset everything there okay the position is zero that's the yep the x-axis is zero there then the y-axis I'm going to make that minus 2.5 and now let's come in here the z axis of the position is going to be minus 302 okay so let's call i'm going to leave the rotation the way it is so i would now come straight to the scale for the scale i'll make that about eight 
and the y-axis that's the volume the volume never increases anyway so let's come right in here you see we have the z-axis I'm gonna make that about 26 and there we go the water is everywhere we now have our own ocean if I run it this is what you guys will see there we go now we have our own ocean okay we now need a bridge across the ocean all right let's stop it from running now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to come straight here the hierarchy okay drop down crates and in there I want to select the plane there I've selected my plane that is it now I'm going to bother do anything with the plane I'll just leave it there and come right here and set the following on the transform look at this transform there now the very first one I'm going to say uh, let's say minus 11.8 and the y axis I'm going to make that minus 0 0.4 and followed by minus 302 don't worry it's not gone it's right there so now let's come to the scale I'm going to make this scale 4 the y axis I will leave the volume as 1 you can change you cannot change it anyway the z axis I'm going to make that 266 there we go that is my bridge across the ocean but before I go any further I'm going to come straight down here inside the standard asset itself that's the standard asset so let me just show it to you guys again and let's go to where there is where we have vehicle or you can select that and let's go for where we can get the material just to just to change the appearance okay what I'll do is I'm going to come up here I've already created a material folder okay select that and let's click on material there we go I now have a material in there that very material I'm just gonna call it flow there you see the flow now make sure the material that you've just created is there forget about all this other material that I've created earlier okay I'm just showing you how to create a material and this I just imported it in there now come in straight to where we have the albedo click on the albedo scroll right down I'm looking for splash something that says splash let's keep going should be there somewhere okay I'm not gonna bother looking for it I might as well just search for it here yeah? I'm going to just type in splash there we go right there so you have a choice maybe I should use this splash fine part or splash large part let's choose let's choose that I will now drag the floor straight onto there look at it it's given me the form of a road look at that there we go that's fine now what I want to do now is I need just uh, a wall on the side of the road to prevent the cars from dropping straight into the ocean but before then let's run it and you see how this looks like there we go guys this is how our bridge looks like for now okay so let's do something about it because this oh, it looks kind of like blur so let's find a way to improve on the appearance so I'm going to go, come back in here. Let's select, uh, yeah, the floor, the material floor. And this one, maybe I should make it about, no, I think it's going to be this. I'm going to make that about 8. Let's see how that's going to look like with 8. If that's not too much, then we'll make it 4. Okay. Let's see with 4. Let's run it. Okay, 
Well, I'll say that's not too bad. It can still be improved. Now, let's stop that for now. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to come up here. You see, we have my hierarchy come right here, and I need cubes. We we'll need about four of those. One here, maybe two here, or one and one here. Maybe just three. Okay, now let's increase the size of that. First thing first, just bring it up a little bit. Yeah, how about that? So it is very cute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the the scale x axis as one, and here I'm going to make this maybe about ten. Right, and just push it down a little bit and here i want to make that about twenty-five thousand. before i go for twenty-five thousand, okay let's say twenty-five thousand across but the thing is i need to know how long this is that's 26 okay let's change this to 260 and this one will become twenty-six thousand. then right not bad okay now the next thing I want to do is I think is dead center okay that will be my center then all right oh where is it okay click on this and just come in here press F or you can just press F5 that is the right there okay now let's zoom in that's how it's looking so I'm going to move this across, yeah, is that about 26, yeah, okay, now, the next thing I'd like to do now is, just to copy it across, where is the, yeah, that's it, I'm going to now copy it across, you can right click, control, or you can just press Ctrl D, click, drag. We have one here, and repeat the same thing for the other edge. Right click, and create a duplicate. Oh, before creating my duplicate, I should have changed the color, but that's all right. Okay. Okay so what I, I th the okay the the world should actually be right by the road side so let's come in and drag that in here okay and that is approximately minus 35 we can even just create another one or just click on this one and drag it over there Okay, there. So let's see how that looks like. Still need to drag this here. Just want to make sure there's no. Yeah, I can still see the C in here. A little bit more. Okay, let's run it and see how that looks like before we start add adding our cars. There, that's how it's looking but as you can see right here this this center this is now centered so I'm gonna have to get it centered so let's see select this that is four okay I'm gonna be centered I think that would do okay so I think that is not too bad now the way it's looking so the choice is now yours if you want to look leave the road the way it is or change the color but right there you can always select that and go back to your material there there's another type of material that uh, I can use this very one okay just type in splash and there we go so let's see with that is all black which is with a bit of white in it so maybe i would if 
finally just set you for that okay now one thing we want to do now quick is you see the, the walls let's change the color of the walls so it's either you create another material right in here let's create another material I think the material I created is right underneath here yeah so drag it let me drop it inside my folder called material so I'm going to change the name of this material you can gently click on it and uh, just change it so let's change that to uh, wall wall there and the wall let's come right in here you see this brick you can get the brick from anywhere I just pick up this brick from my one of my old programs so I'm gonna select that drag the brick and just drop it straight inside the albedo for the wall so what will happen is I'm gonna end up with a wall and the top is going to be sort of like whitish so I can then drag the wall and drop it inside my first cube look at that and repeat the same thing for the second one the third one drag the wall and drop it in there there and I need to change this to about maybe 16 uh, let's see I'm just gonna I'm talking about the tiling now uh, let's see what 16 will look like hmm. yeah that looks a little bit pronounced but let's run it and see how that's gonna look like anyway the camera into the old scene but let's see I can't see it properly okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here let's see let's go back to the material called wall yeah you see this material I'm gonna change the wall because this lining seems to be too too narrow so I'm gonna make it it there we go so the drivers will be able to see that in real life or oh, let's see even if I say four um, no I'm gonna make it maybe six yeah six is not too bad there we go okay now let's set to four maybe six yeah that's how it's looking now now those are the road markings okay so now a car here so I'm gonna come straight down here you see inside my go back to my standard asset most of the stuff we need is inside standard asset so I'm gonna drop a car in there and it's your responsibility if you want to change the color or whatever so instead standard asset you should be able to see vehicle so you don't want the airplane yet that would be another tutorial so let's go straight click on car and go straight down you will see prefab drop it down inside the prefab you get a car here you see that's one car here maybe move this car okay leave the car here and let's just change this to maybe two three two okay and i'm going to just rotate that uh, let's go for maybe 180 and it's now facing the other direction but before rotating it let me say undo ah, okay there's no point anyway but it's all right okay i'm just going to copy that very car copy it and just drag it let's wait the car right in here there that's the car right click duplicate and drag it across so we have two cars there and this very one I'm going to rotate this one by 180 yeah that's that's it so this very car my camera is going to be following this the choice is yours your camera can this you can decide to make sure your camera follow this very one so we have our cars in place now so maybe move oops have exposed the car okay let's select the old car properly come right down here collapse collapse where's the other car straight down you see this is a problem it's good to tidy up so maybe I'm gonna have to tidy up and uh, because that'll make life easy for the for the developer this is okay this is the second car here 
here select the car and just push it away right now before tidying up things it's not much object in there the first thing I, the next thing i like to do now is you see this sky let's change that now okay and i'm gonna go to windows and in here select rendering and let's select light lighting settings and in here let's come straight down to skybox material and i will now select this small icon here and the because it's going to be a bright day so i'm just going to maybe set to for hmm, these or these i'm going to set for this double click on that and click on ok there we go look at our sky there that's not too bad yeah now the next thing we want to do now that we have our sky in place i need some city i need a city right that is the car it's very noisy okay i'm gonna stop this right at the edge you can see how noisy the okay before i start work with this city what i'm gonna do is you see this walls i'm gonna come in here that's the wall material i'm gonna change the material to maybe six yeah i think that's fine now let's come back in here and i'm going to I need the CT so maybe double click on this or press F come right here and just press F6 where is it there and here that's where I'm gonna enter my CT and the C first thing first you see the seat the C is about that maybe I'm gonna change the size of that to let's go for about 16 yeah and right at the edge here is where i'm going to have my city so i'm going to come in here now add a cube that's a cube right there so we need to change one or two things of the cube the scale i'm going to make that 2000 yeah and i'm going to make the height about 20 and the z axis because it's going to be a large city i want to make that about one thousand yeah that's fine to drag that just put it right at the edge of the c there we go now before i go any further i will now change the appearance of this my city that i'm creating using the cube I'm gonna change the appearance let's come in here you see here we have uh, I'm gonna create a new material come right here and just let's see material yeah, that material I'm gonna call it city flow yeah that's fine and make sure city flow is selected I'm gonna drag one of these material maybe this one drag it straight inside the albedo there and i will now drag the city floor click drag and drop it right here look at that can you see that that's how the floor looks like um if you want to tidy things up you can change let's change the x-axis to four and see no i don't like that let's come in a y-axis maybe to four no maybe two okay maybe i just set you for that for now or leave it as one one all right that's my city there now the next thing i want to do is go straight back and let's add let's go to the white city drop that down and let's select some buildings in there now click on the uh, prefab just click on the prefab drop it down we need buildings there we go and I'm gonna select this 12 and just drop it right here that's one of my first building then and I'll just change the size of that to maybe about five 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 
copy that across that is a 12 uh, duplicate and this one let's rotate it about maybe zero let's put zero there yeah that's fine okay and i can even put it in here like this yeah yeah i can do that now i'm going to select both of them together I just press ctrl d copy and move another one here okay we have a very nice building here yeah and let's drag some more in there this is an eye rising just put that one in here and increase that to maybe yeah five 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 we're fine but i'll make this one about seven yeah i think five is fine it's not just yeah move it up and just copy ctrl d copy grab one here and we will add more of the buildings anyway so let's let's just speed that up and i'll get back to you guys all right i've actually speed up the whole process of the building so i'm not going to do much with that so i'm going to leave it like that so the next thing i want to do now is let me add some trees so let's go back into our standard asset here or we can just type in trees here and look for trees oh yeah that reminds me we need streets street light as well okay let's look for the trees first okay i found the tree so i'm just gonna drag that straight on board so where is it again let's see here we go it's right here grab and just dump it there let's increase the size of that to maybe about five and uh, five five okay that's one tree there Control d copy drag Control D again and just make it lively there okay and we'll need some more on the other side Control D let's move it out a little bit yeah there we go so we have some trees in there but what I'm going to do is these buildings there they are they're in numbers so let's do one thing come in here but let's go straight into create our create an empty prefab that empty prefab I'm just gonna call it buildings so that we can use it to tidy up the whole development environment because it seems to be too busy for me now drop that in there we can collapse that there's more buildings hanging around drag drop and we seems to be having the same problem with the trees so i'm going to come in here create another empty, empty prefab i mean empty game objects just type in trees there and grab the trees and just drag drop there okay so what else do we need to tidy up yeah for now that's a bit okay all right so i just need to add in more trees and i'll get back to you guys once that is done okay guys i have all my trees in place this is how it all looks like for now though you might not be able to see it properly but uh, if we run the program you'll be able to see it but before you can see it properly we do need we're going to need uh, going to need to write one or two lines of code so first thing first let me change this one to one single column and just tidy up this one as well select all of these trees and just bang them right inside my folder drag drop there and let's minimize that right now we come right in here okay right in here i'm going to create a folder called 
script so let's select folder and I'll just call that script there we go that's my script folder make sure the script folder is selected go back to create and let's select C sharp and that is I'm gonna call that camera controller there we go that's my camera controller created I might as well just create another one since I'm here I'm gonna come straight here and just call that break a box now come right in there select that call that break boxes yeah now let's select the camera controller double click or you can just select the camera controller and click on open to open up the c sharp okay that's c sharp programming environment ready so but one thing first i'm going to get rid of this get rid of that function and the comments and this one this is the one i intend to use but i will change this method or function to let updates because it's going to be for my camera but before we do anything to avoid any error create a public game object here so right there I say public game object and this game object I'm gonna call it car because I intend the to make sure the camera follows the car the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another private void uh, no it's not private void it's going to be private vector tree and this one is going to let's say offset offset is going to be new vector tree and this new vector tree is going to take in three arguments so the first thing is going to be the the first argument I'm going to call that minus 20 that is going to be my x axis now for my y axis I'm going to make that about 5 for z axis let's say minus 30 so those are my three arguments they might be wrong but well, this one is supposed to be comma they might be wrong we can always adjust it once the, uh, the car is on the move now the next thing i want to do is to use the method transform let's get this transform dot position that is supposed to be the exact position of the car equals car dot transform position plus offset so transform position plus offset offset plus my offset there enter semicolon that's it that's just the single line of code that i intend to write for my camera okay so i will need to add a car add the add a car straight in there just one car that will follow that so i'm going to have to save that now let's go back to unity now inside my development environment the camera is written so i now need to add this very folder or sorry this very script straight onto the main camera there there we go select the main camera and come right down and that is the car but i have to be sure which of the cars i'm talking of i want the car that we head straight to the city that is the car that I need the one that we head straight to the city okay let me try this if this does not head straight to the city then I'm gonna have to change it okay that's car number one so let's select this and just drag in car number one straight in here so car one drag and drop it in there so that should take care of that now let's come back in here inside our script I'm going to add some boxes here that will be broken so let's select open and right in there might as well get rid of all of these yeah just get rid of those and 
I need a public game object. So public game object common here yeah, paste that in there and I'm just gonna call that game object and this game object I'm just gonna give it a nickname call it break a box copy that paste that in there semicolon and right here I'm gonna change this to that's just my public game object so I'm going to change this let's say break box right that's fine now this one i want to change this one to private yeah that's a private void on collusion on collusion stay that is an event on collusion stay collusion where is it collusion and collusion so right in here I'm going to say instantiate right there instantiate open up a bracket and what are we instantiating we instantiating this broke a box comma and also transform dot position Comma, transform. Uh, let's make that dot rotate or rotation. Now I want this destroyed. So let's say the object. Let's get rid of the object. Destroy object or destroy game object. Game object. So this will go straight on the boxes, though the boxes are not on the scene yet. There, that's just the two simple lines of code I intend to use for that. So I'm gonna save that as well. Let's make sure the camera is saved. And let's come right here inside the game itself. So right inside the game, we need to go to our Western Pro Pack. Click and drop. Open it up. I'm gonna go straight down. I'm right here inside the model. Come right down again. I need wooden crack. Click and open inside the wooden crack. What I need is this very one. These two. I need them both. So let's do one thing. Okay, move this a little bit back and just add this this very one wooden crack. Add it right here. That wooden crack, maybe change this one to maybe two zero point zero two zero point zero two there. Okay, that might be too big, but let's see. And I also need to change the material on it. That it looks like a wood. Yeah, that's the material. Oh, let's go for the texture. Texture. Okay, let's see material and let's drag that, drop it in there yeah material is all right okay now this very one we need to add we need to add a rigid body to it so let's add a rigid body where is that to rigid body so type in rigid there rigid body added okay with the rigid body added i'm going to select okay the use gravity is selected it's kidmatic i'm going to select that as well let's click on that and let's come right down here to the add components so maybe collapse it so that you can see add component there click on it and i'm now going to add box collider let's click on that box collider is now added with the box collider added let's see what is should i okay i'm going to also add mesh collider there now that mesh collider is added i will now yeah make sure it's checked and that is all here now there's one more thing i need to add i need to add the broken creep so come right hand down 
down here you see where we have the wooden crate you will get this prefab inside the uh, you know in a dev asset.com that's where you get this very prefab okay so let's come right down here you see the, this is the this is the wooden crate the wooden crate cracked select that and just drop it in here it's called crap because it's into pieces now the size let's look at the size of my just wooden crate is 0 0.02 and this very one the crap one is one so i'm going to change that to two two and two now now i'm going to add the following i'm just going to add two I'm going to need a mesh collider and uh, rigid body but the thing is because this thing is cracked let's add mesh collider add a mesh collider in there and this mesh collider I'm just going to make it you see where we have convex I'm going to check that there okay you see this very wooden crate cracked I click on the drop down here you will see we have approximately how many pieces 20 pieces of it in there so let's increase let me just zoom out so that you guys can see look at that okay so I'm now going to come in here let's select each individual pieces okay this one does not have the like I've just added mesh collider but if you look here there's no mesh collider in there so i'm going to add mesh collider let's see if i can select it all and just add a mesh collider select it all click on that and let's add mesh collider hopefully i must have added mesh collider to it all you see that but i was meant to select the convex so i'm going to select it all again and just select convex there so that is it taken care of. So each pieces I've added mesh collider and check the convex. Now I also need to add rigid body. So select it all, come straight to the add component and let's add a rigid body. There we go. I've added a rigid body. So I want to drop this rigid body down. Let's see. Let's come right down here and for the rigid body i think that will be fine the setting is fine i'm going to leave the setting alone so the whole idea is when a car is coming if you do not get out of the way you collapse you collide on, on these boxes it will automatically change to this and the pieces of these boxes will be everywhere just to prove to you that each boxes are in pieces look at that that's nine that is three thirteen okay they're all into pieces and you can even move them away look that's one there that's number 15 i'm going to undo that there so you see this very one now i also i'm going to change the color or maybe just leave it there but if you want to change the color let's see if we select it all will i be able to change the color in one go I might not be able to do that so that means i'm gonna have to select each individual individually to change the color okay all right so now that that is taken care of okay we now need to convert this very one we need to convert it into what is known as prefab okay prefab which means we can reuse it over and over again so i'm going to col collapse all of this now you see this wooden crate crack drag it and drop it right inside the asset there and i'm going to now select you see in this dialog box is asking you would you like to create a new original prefab i'm going to say original prefab there we go my original prefab is officially created for me now i can now come in here and just delete this i don't need it anymore right click and delete there it is gone okay you see the very first one that is not cracked i will now create duplicate of that right click 
duplicate and just maybe drag it over there so I can create as many duplicates as I want okay create another duplicate of that there and another one so if the card did mistakenly drive into any of these crates what will happen is it will just shattered so that's the whole idea create one more duplicate drag okay we kind of like move it out of the way so it's left for the driver to kind of like move out of the way of the crate now that that is done okay one thing i was meant to do is select i was meant to select i should have done that for the very main one that is the main crate if you come down remember i did add the code breaker box what was added to this very one here okay so if we come right down here let's select it we should be able to see breaker box that's it breaker box okay oh i've only added it to one all right then i might as well just add it to all of this select it all and just drag breaker box straight in there all right maybe we'll do it individually i should have do it just for one and copy it to the others well that's no problem they all have breaker box now okay breaker box is there for each of them now we don't need to know which box would you like me to break so when we select it we want to be able to identify the box we want you to break the box we want you to break is this very one if you guys can still recall my wooden crate crack click drag and drop it right inside break a box there so i'm going to just repeat the same thing for the others and uh, and that'll be all click drag drag okay and this very one drag and drop number four coming in drag let's do that again and drop there we go every single box now have the variable breaker box in there so that is that taken care of i think that'll be all so let's save my project i should have saved that early run but uh, that's okay so i'm just gonna call it mini bridge right save there now let's run it and see how that looks like it's a little bit noisy so i'm gonna run it and let's see you see that now we're heading towards the city there we go unfortunately we can't see the car properly so I'm gonna to have to reset that okay guys let's try it out that is the car but we need to make sure the camera can see everything everywhere so I'm gonna end it okay I'm going to change the setting of this camera so let's say we have about 20 I'm going to change that so that we can see the whole system I'm going to change it to about 10 here and let's make this minus 15 okay x axis 10 y is 5 and the z axis is 15 so let's save that and run the program again minimize that and run run the game there we go that is the camera the car seems to be very noisy but that's okay so we now run the program so it's left for the driver to uh, look at that there there we go the 
the crate is cracked. Oh dear. Where did you get your driving license from? Well, we're heading straight to the city. I see. Now let's head back straight to the city. guys I'm going to stop it right there so that we can add the, sh uh, the boats and the and the street light and that will be all so let's stop the program for now and I'm gonna come right here all of these boats you should be able to find them on unity as the fisherman's boat so let's grab one of those and just dump it on board and that is the boat right there grab and dump it right there and i'm going to increase the size of that boat maybe five 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 and i will now come right here you see this very one ussc okay i'm going to drop that down you should be able to get that as well on uh, this right there on the access store i'm going to grab one of these just drop it there just add the boat everywhere and maybe about six or seven of those somewhere let's grab one more fisherman's boat there so i would arrange those properly let's go for seven seven and seven now street lights come right down here so it's either you use the victorian street light or the street light pro let's see the street light pro yeah the street light pro okay i'm going to set you for this just grab that and i need the wall i need to know where the wall is that's the wall right there okay grab the street light light pro yeah just grab, grab that and drop it right here so increase that to about 10 by 10 by 10 that might be too much so maybe 7 and 7 ok alright so that's the street light hold on to your control and maybe just reduce this as well so maybe about 7 yeah Hold on to the control, control D and just copy. Yeah. I'm gonna select both. Control G again. Let's copy it across. There. And I'll just take care of that and get back to you guys. Okay, now we have all the boats and the street light in place. I'm going to now try out the game. And right here guys that is how it's looking now you can see the street light the boat and it looks very beautiful i bet you guys can have got something like this so as you can see the car will hit the crate and smash the crate the car move forward towards the city so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member you all have a nice day now and bye for now